Hey everybody, this is Retro Challenge Gamer. After having made so many levels in between now and my first level, I wanted to use all the knowledge and experience I had gained to be making another airship level, one of my favorite themes to work with. This time, I was intent on making a lengthy stage full of traps, platforming, and dangerous jumps. It is definitely a level I suggest many try, but I really can't add it to my recommended selection, merely because despite all the effort and time put into it, it still is a bit unpolished on the platforming segments, and the ending was a bit rushed. Doesn't mean it isn't a solid level and full of good gameplay. Definitely worth checking out, one of my better levels made. Enjoy the video. As I said before, I really, really love the airship theme. Ever since Super Mario Bros. 3, I've always loved playing these levels when I was a kid, and just being able to design something just like it, oh man, I was just ecstatic. And I'd really wanted to flex my muscles after building so many levels to come back to the airship theme and really make it a longer, much harder, and trickier level overall. I just loved creating this stage and it was so much fun. I didn't really feel fatigued when I built it, unlike some other levels I've made already. So yeah, the first pink coin is a little bit difficult to get. And that's the problem with a lot of these levels is it forces you to beat the level first before you can upload it, and that can cause all sorts of headaches. But hey, Yoshi, in a level that might be at first not really suited to him at all. But in actuality, he's actually quite useful here. In fact, he pretty much can lick up all sorts of projectiles and spit them out and actually provide an extra hit. He is super useful in this stage, more so than I ever thought he was going to be. I put him in as a secret, and then during my testing of the stage, since I knew where he was as a secret, he actually ended up being pretty key for me to actually beat in the level for the first time so I could upload this thing. So yeah, a little bit of bad polish here on those jumps. I really wish you could have had a little more time to land on the final ledge there. So a little more practice and testing probably would have made that better. But I had a lot of fun of elevating the difficulty. Like before in the previous area, you were introduced to these little spinning blades and the cannonballs, but separately. But now you get to deal with them together. Bye, Yoshi. It was fun while it lasted. And that's not the end of it. Now, you've been introduced to cannons, you've been introduced to platforms, you've been introduced to the spinning blades. It is now time, after this next checkpoint, to be introduced to all three at once. So it's like an elevation of difficulty. And just in case you lost Yoshi in the previous segment like I did, you can get him back. There's a Firefly here if you need it, but the Cape Mario is actually better. So yeah, this is where all three combine together in one final challenge. All elements here to test you and your skills. And let me tell you, this took a lot of testing. And of course, much testing to try and see if I had enough time to get that pink coin and get up back onto the platform safely. And ever since the fiasco of the previous level, where I didn't have enough keys or doors, I wanted to make sure you were forced to face this Boom Boom and actually had to defeat him. Otherwise, you know, what's the point of having Boom Boom here? And this little platform here actually serves as an easy way to get rid of him. Again, if you have Cape Mario, I don't really need the Fire Flower, but if you don't, it's an actually good power-up to have for the last section of the level, which is a little rushed, I will admit. A lot of enemies and uh, obstacles thrown at you, kind of haphazardly, which I do apologize for. There's a lot of things to dodge here, and everything's going to be making sure that you use up every single power-up you earned up to this point. Like it did me just now. Thankfully, the ending is not that far off. So you just need to survive one last gauntlet, and you're done! A very solid airship level that I'm actually very proud of making. So before, I told you guys I really love split paths, and this stage actually has two of them. The first split path is actually you need to take the high road, where the majority of the pink coins are, and you have to use these little buzzy beetles 
to get between the floating airship pieces. And yeah, trying to test to make sure that all of these were doable. Ah, oh, that was difficult. <laughs> Let me tell you. But I did have a lot of fun making sure that the auto scroll segments were doable. And that everything showed up at exactly the points that I wanted it to show up. And just in case if you made a mistake, for whatever reason, there's an extra power up here. Of which, it doesn't really help me much altogether, but in case you have you need extra 1-ups, there you go. Right as you get to the next section. And then the last alternate path is actually in the second auto-scroll section, but now you go down instead of up. And there's the final pink coin. In case you didn't get it earlier, well... You just have to go on to the end and miss out on the, the door here. But in case you did get all six pink coins, there's a 50 coin for ya. And there is one of my favorite airship levels that I've made. Not the best one, but definitely a good solid level and well worth a shot. 